What's up, y'all? Rafi making the video. Ten plus five game. I know it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, so I do apologize for not being as active. Excuse me, with my videos these days, but here we are. It's a new day. It's a new time. Trying to think of how to develop my pieces from here. Um, could play e5, but that's just not the kind of way I want to play this game. I could kind of leave this bishop here and just play a g6, bishop g7, and that develop that way. That is one option for sure. I think I'll go for that option here. I'll fian keto the kingside bishop here. Okay, bishop g7. So now he allows me to trade the pieces. Bang! Oh, excuse me. The um, bishop, you know, for the knight, of course. So now, obviously going to do that. So I think I'm going to play maybe... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I think I could play e6 here and then put the knight on e7. That might make a little bit more sense. Interesting move, queen e2. Trying to understand what the idea of this might be. Maybe he wants to unpin the queen by going to f2 or something, I don't know. And just getting my pieces out. Okay, I'll castle. Of course, I will exchange. I guess I could gain some space and play b5 now. Queen b6, bishop b3, and c5. Mm, I don't really like that idea. Much rather just play knight d7 here and just put the knight on c5 or something. I think he should have played bishop e. No, he couldn't have done that because then I would have taken on b2. Uh.
Just considering if knight c5 makes any sense. I don't think so. After bishop c2, then let's just say I play queen c7. He's going to play bishop e3 and I have to move that knight again. Actually, after bishop e3, I will take on e4. No, I can't because the bishop on c2 will be guarding that. So let's just play a normal move. Let's just play queen c7 here. You get pieces developed first. Because I don't see any concrete way for me to take advantage exactly just yet. So now we can... I do want to play a5 here. Looks nice. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and get some space on this side of the board. Sure, he'll play a3 or something like that and keep that bishop on the diagonal. Hmm. Okay, well, let's push the bishop off this diagonal. And knight is headed to c4. Uh, let's go ahead and challenge. So if knight c4, b3, takes, takes, he's threatening to play bishop b6, basically, right? That's the threat. Okay, rook b8 should work. My pieces are looking a little bit shaky right now because everything is kind of being attacked, but you know, I do, I'm going to fix that here momentarily, I hope. Mm. I'm going to check this. Then he's going to grab that c-file. Oh no, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Because now, queen c7 runs into bishop d6. That is going to be a problematic situation. I think I'm losing material now. I do have knight d7. But that's just such a bad move to have to play, but... That might be the only move that saves... A piece here. Yeah, I'm really getting outplayed right now for sure. No doubt about that. Very much getting outplayed here. Hmm. 
This does drop the bishop. I don't know if you noticed that, or if he just did this on purpose, or what. But the bishop on c5 is hanging now. Now I wonder what happens if I just grab it. Like that. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm coming up short still. Hmm. Very unfortunate. That was not the right calculation at all. Takes, takes. Actually, let's try this. Oh, he's going to take that with check. That's the problem. Darn it. Yeah, it's going to be a loss for me, unfortunately. This one will be a loss for sure. Total miscalculations all over the place. Oh, now queen c7 is really strong, actually. Yep, it's going to really, really put a coffin here anytime. Really in a lot of trouble now. Pretty much lost, you could say. Just nothing to do here. Total lost. Unfortunately, it's just lost. Very lost. Oh, wow. That shut down my bishop completely. Ugh. I was hoping to at least get the c3 pawn, but nope. Yeah, this is going to be a resignable, resignable position now. It's quite lost at this point.
Yeah, there's just no point in playing, really. It's just totally lost. I don't even know why I'm playing on. I should just resign here. There's not much miracles that can even happen here at this point in the game. It's just a very, very lost position. I really didn't calculate that knight c5 at all. I just kind of played it thinking that that's surely going to get me some material, but it turned out to be the exact opposite. Yeah, just uh, lots of mistakes in this game. That's no no doubt about that. Just very sloppy. Didn't really calculate much at all. Even that bishop c5, the knight c5 move I played, definitely was prematurely played. And um, yeah, overall the setup was probably not the best either for me. So yeah, not a good game by any means. Um, but you know, it happens. So I will get that pawn on a5, but possibly there could be some forks. Could be at a pipe price, I'm not sure. I don't see a fork exactly, but maybe there could be one. Even if he plays king a4, and I, I can't even play rook b4, because that's still a completely winning endgame for him. Check, takes, takes, king has that extra pawn. Yeah, can't even do anything. Can't even take that. Oh, well, um, maybe I'll take this one. And now comes queen d7, and that's just lights out, absolutely. Or that works, too. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just no way I'm stopping the pawn. No way. Queen d8, and it's game over. I meant to play. 
It's like the wrong piece there. Anyway, this is time to resign. Let's quickly analyze this and just kind of see what all the mistakes were here. There were quite a few, I'm sure. He played a perfect game. That's suspect. Okay. For someone, his rating, it's suspect. So I'm going to go ahead and report this game, first of all. Then we're going to analyze it. Anytime I see someone playing perfect chess and their ratings are in the 2100s like that, I start getting a little suspect. What's going on here exactly? Always like to report those just in case. Okay, now back to the game. This move exactly probably is not the best move here. Most people just play e5 straight up. Okay. Well, I went this direction, which was fine. I felt okay about it. And then continue with g6. Bishop g4, getting rid of that bishop. Um, hmm. Not exactly sure why it's showing so much advantage for white, but okay. have in between queen b6 check here i felt my position was okay i mean i didn't feel too bad about it but he's got the bishop pair he's got more central control so those things are definitely going well for black, uh, for white But black definitely is struggling here, no doubt, to some extent, positionally. And here his two bishops just... Excuse me, started working really nicely together. Once I pushed those pawns forward.
Yeah, here I was just lost after rugby eight, I think. Yeah, ninety four was a really nice move. But he has other ways to win, like Queen H4 looks pretty good too, like the computer is suggesting. Here I didn't even calculate much, I just went ahead and took the bishop, but turns out it was the best move anyway. I thought he just dropped a piece, honestly. I thought he just missed that I can take his bishop. But I mean, I, I did see that obviously he has a discovered attack, but I thought maybe I could come out of it better. So I definitely was lazy in the calculations here. Did not really calculate that out. Just kind of played out of intuition, and I was wrong. Yeah, that move just loses. Yeah, okay, I see the idea of queen c7 was to try to trap the knight on b8 after he took the rook. I'm just going to go through this really fast because I don't think there's anything else to look at here. Yep, so that's the game. Hope you enjoyed it. It's Rafi signing out, and I'll check you, uh, catch you in my next video.